Hello everyone, you are welcome to today's class and my name is Ibrahim Nasiru. I will be taking you on the topic titled Immunization and Prevention of STIs that is sexually transmitted infections. Yes. All right. At the end of this class, you should be able to define immunization. Secondly, you should be able to define sexually transmitted infections, that's STIs, and give examples. Then lastly, you should be able to give the preventive methods of sexually transmitted infections. All right. So we we'll move to the introduction straight. Now, immunization is a proven tool for controlling and eliminating life threatening infections, that's diseases, and is estimated to avert between 2 to 3 million deaths each year. This is a way by which the spread of disease is reduced or eradicated. So what is immunization? This is the protection of an individual against disease by giving him or her vaccine. And this vaccine stimulates the body's own immune system to protect the person against subsequent infection or diseases. Now, what is vaccination? Vaccination is the process of injecting antibodies into the bloodstream to protect the person against diseases. All right. So we move straight to STIs, that is sexually transmitted diseases. It is not all diseases that are airborne, waterborne, or soilborne. Some of, some of them are sexually transmitted, that is, they are transmitted through sexual intercourse. And these diseases are known as venereal disease. And the common venereal diseases are gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV and AIDS, and the rest of them. So these diseases are always chronic affecting and damaging the organs and systems of the body and eventually leading to death in most cases. So STIs simply means sexually transmitted infections and these are diseases that are transmitted through sexual intercourse with an infected person. Examples of STIs are syphilis, gonorrhea and HIV and AIDS. All right. So we are going to be looking at the most common one and most of the time most deadly as the HIV and AIDS. So what, what does HIV stands for? HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus. It is a simple living virus that causes AIDS in humans. And what is the full meaning of AIDS? It simply means acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Now, it is is an illness that attack and break down the body's immune system and expose the individual to infections and may usually lead to death. Yes, so we move to the preventive methods of sexually transmitted infections. Number one on the list is use of condoms. Number two is abstinence. That means you totally abstain from sexual intercourse. And number three is responsible sexual behavior. That means you remain with your wife alone or you only have sex with your wife. The number three is proper screening of blood. You ensure that the person is screened and it doesn't have any trace of the sexually transmitted infections. And the third one is enlightenment through campaign, posters, public lecture, radio, and television. Most of the people are ignorant about these STIs. And as a result of that, they just do anything, anyhow. And by the end of everything, they got to find out that they are with these diseases and the results are not usually pleasure, pleasurable. And the last one is age maturity before engaging in sex. So you have to be fully mentally, physically, 
financially and emotionally up to date before you engage yourself in sexual intercourse. All right. So, these are some of the consequences of irresponsible behavior. Number one is contracting venereal diseases. Now, when you are irresponsible, you contract these venereal diseases. When you don't follow the advice of your parents, your teachers, and you do anything anyhow, you contract these diseases. Unwanted pregnancy, yes, this uh, is also one of the consequences of irresponsible behavior. When they say you shouldn't go and you go and at the end something came out, then you know what it means. Then rejection by the society. When you become irresponsible, the society will also rejects you. And finally, abortion and death. So abortion is also an irresponsible behavior and it can lead to the death of the person, the Christian. So these irresponsible behaviors are not good at all. Right. So I've come to the end of today's class. But before we go, we take the summary of all that we have discussed today. Immunization, we say, is the protection of an individual against disease by giving him or her vaccine. And we say vaccination is the process of injecting antibodies into the bloodstream to protect the person against diseases. And we talk about STIs, which simply means sexually transmitted infections. Then we talk about the preventive methods of STIs, which are the use of condoms, abstinence, responsible sexual behavior, proper screening of blood, Enlightenment campaign, age, maturity before engaging in sex. All right. We've come to the end of today's class. But before we go, we take exercise. Number one says, what is immunization? Secondly, you give the full meaning of STIs. And then you give three examples. Number three is mention for consequence of irresponsible behavior. Lastly, you should men name four ways you can prevent STIs, all right? Thanks very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you again. Have a nice day.